And hello again, everyone. We are, as always, Gaming by Gaslight. We have just cored another province. We are once more playing EU4 as Mongolia. We're actually making pretty decent progress, I think. We could probably be making better progress if I was a bit less cautious and willing to start wars a bit more frequently. Uh, actually, how is Yarkan doing? And do you have any allies? Uh, they have no allies, actually, so... What is Yarkand like compared to us? Because we might want to go to war with them. Yarkand has 14,000 of a possible 11,000. You have some manpower, we do not. I am thinking, though, the right move is probably to go to war with Korchin next. Because we could probably convince Yaren to come in and maybe we can prov uh, province them. Promise them some provinces. Unfortunately, they consider all of this as vital interest. So that is uh, going to be a bit upsetting since uh, I consider a lot of that vital interest myself. Um, we're still not strong enough to go to war with the Ming, and we probably won't be for a little while. And since the Ming are just sitting here and they are not exploding on themselves, and they have like 40... Fa we could actually royal marry them, apparently. That's kind of funny. But yeah, eventually, eventually we will go to war with these guys, but we're probably going to conquer basically everything else around here. Fortunately, the Ming, they're not very expansionistic, so what's going to happen, more or less, I think, is we're just going to expand. They're just going to sit there, probably developing and other stuff, but that's not as effective as expanding, probably, so... Yeah. Overall, I think we're in a pretty good spot, and uh, might as well improve things with Nepal again. I don't think you're worth forming an, forming an alliance with. And do I want to go to war with Yarkin? No, no. We were thinking about it, but Korchin is probably... Can we get anyone to join us? Uh, you don't care? You don't? Like, If I promise you land... Oh, you're in debt. So if you weren't in debt... Yeah, if they weren't in debt, they'd be much more willing to join us. Okay, and we've promised them land, so that's plus 20. And uh, they have a truce of Korchin. Okay, so they won't join for a while. But other than that, we might be able to. Okay. So... It might make more sense... You know what? There's got to be some way to develop favors just by... I don't exactly know how favors generate exactly. Can, can we see? Spend 10 favors to prepare for war. Okay. Hmm. Alright, spend favors to increase trust. Oh yeah, here's favors. So how, how fast are we getting them? You'll gain a favor every two... Y yeah, you see that? That just seems... Much too slow to me. I think it should be you gain a favor every year. Or or maybe favors should scale up based on your alliance. So you could actually start getting like two free favors every year over time. If Well, th there's probably a balance thing with this. But I, I feel favor should be scaled based on trust. And also, what do I have to do to gain trust? It increases by spending favors. See, trust should also just go up over time, I think, as well. I don't know. I don't like all the new stuff with the, uh, like, diplomacy here. And it's better than just the case where it's like, well, we're not going to join your war except once every ten years. But I, I do think that it probably needs a bit more tweaking. In my personal opinion. And then it'll be just right. But, you know, these things do take time to get right, so we're in, we're in no rush. Uh, oh yeah, could we take Korchin or Yarkin in our current state? I mean, Yarkin has 14,000 men. They have more than us, and they actually have manpower. Uh, Korchin, or Cochin, no, Korchin. They have 9,000, but they have a lot of manpower, so we're probably not going to... And they also have Buratia as a vassal. So, yeah. Oh, you guys don't have any allies either, so, uh... And if we just wait three years, we could probably go to war with Shagate again. How are they doing, actually? Let's uh, check out the ledger. Do, 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 do. 
They have 7,000 men and 7,000 manpower. They can have a maximum of 14,000. How are we doing, by the way? The Oirat Separatists are already coming back? What? How the heck did they do that so quickly? I am baffled by this development. Because I thought we were... I I'm confused. I'm confused by what's happening here. Oh, Shagate has insulted us. Good for you. Thinking of which... And we could always try provoking uh, an offensive war. Because that would actually benefit us in the fact that I'm pretty sure our allies are more likely to uh, take a... Oh, we renewed our loan. Right. I'm pretty sure our allies are more likely to actually come into defensive calls still. So Yark or Yaren would probably still come against Korchin if they declared war on us. But then again, Korchin's probably not... Oh wait, we're sitting here because of the fact that there's rebel popping to be done. Alright, so we'll get that. Okay, okay. I think we'd probably... I'd, I would feel okay boosting stability if we actually had the points for it. But we don't, so we're gonna have to wait on that. And, uh... I don't know. Might as well insult... No, no, no. We won't get more points by insulting. Uh... I guess we'll issue some embargoes. You're embargoed for one power projection. Whoopee. Uh, we'll embargo you as well. Embargo you. For two power projection. That's pretty nice. Okay, that's good. I know. Uh, okay, we're getting one bonus leader with our current. We need to get this up to 50 and we start getting free monarch points. Thinking of free monarch points, I know there is something with uh, estates. I'm not sure if it's with tribal estates. There was a way to get, must be with the Everett Estates, to get uh, free Monarch points. So, yeah. We could recruit a minister. That's, that's actually interesting to know. But we don't have the money for that, so... Oh, what's this? A call to arms. Yaren is going to war against Cor... Corchin. Hey, we want to go to war against Corchin. We also have... You know what? This will get us favors, so why not? Right? And we have claims over here, so... Let's... let's do it! Uh, with any luck... Also, um... Just so Yaren knows... Uh, Mongolia. Mongolia views it as vital interest. It's strategic. Why do I consider this as vital interest? Is it because I have a claim on it? I do have a claim on these provinces, right? Okay, so it automatically gets marked as vital interest because I have a claim. That's good to know. Oh, where are you going? Onan Goal. Okay, you're going over there. We will go over here. Who's all in this war? Eurasia Yaren. Ooh, they have Yaren? Wait, who am I at war with? Oh, wait, no, that's that's our side. Wait a minute. Buratia's on our side? Oh. Oh, I did not realize that. Alright. Wait, I thought Buratia was a vassal. Oh, no, they're a vassal of Yaren. I've been mistaken this whole time. Tribes are curtailed. Oh, good, the Timurids have finally... They finally took control of their tribes, huh? Alright. We want as much as we can, so detach a siege. With any luck, we'll actually be given some provinces for this. Oh, and these guys are opportunistically taking a fight there. Let's, uh... I don't know where their army went. I'm not overly worried about... Oh, they're busy up there. So we're going to siege everything we can and hope that we get some land out of this. Hopefully. I don't know if they'll actually do it or not, but it's possible. Are you sieging this? They are. Okay. More land has come under the Mongolian occupation. That's always good. Right, where are you going? Okay, you're coming over there, so... It's quite likely we're actually not going to be able to siege anything else at this particular time, so... We've, we've taken a couple provinces. Oh, we're now accepting Oiret as an accepted culture. Good. That's good to know. Okay, so we are 
we're gonna take this and ah, oh, they're they're taking the land back. Try to eradicate. Ah, oh, hell. I recall diplomat. Okay. All right, fine. Oh, we don't even have enough points for that. Yowza. Why is our religious unity so low? Oh my god, I didn't realize we had so many uh, Sunni people in our... That's unfortunate. Could someone go up there and fight their army so I can actually get some provinces out of this war? I would like that, you know. You know what, let's uh... I guess if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself, right? Yeah, they're coming down there, so... We might, we might be able to get something out of this. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, there is fighting possibly going on here. Our truce with Shagate has ended. Good. Alright, they're sieging that. Uh, I don't know where they're gonna go. Hopefully they don't go here and I get stack wiped. That would be awkward. Nope. Oh good, we've captured a province. So let's send one dude to go capture this. Jiangzu is probably gonna get a couple provinces. Oh. Let's see. Eurasia. They didn't give me anything, did they? We got 22 favors, though. Whoop-dee-doo. Thanks for nothing. God. I hate it when that happens. You go to war, you get the stuff, and the AI... The AI just sucks when it comes to actually helping you. I'm just gonna fabricate some more claims. This, uh... I mean, Korchin is going to be weaker now. When can I go to war with them again? 94. Wonderful. Alright. Let's go to war with Shagate then. Also have to boost my stability. That's unfortunate. Are you seriously still whining about independence, Oirat? Come on. Get with the times. And they're also... The Sunni Zealots are still whining about their independence. I mean, my goodness, just let it go. You're never going to be independent, and that's that. Alright, so we're going to go to War of Shagate. I should probably send one extra guy down there. Right, what, what are their numbers looking like, anyway? They're up to 9,000. They still have no allies, and they're at war with Tibet. Okay. Well, if you're busy down there, it's good enough for me. Wait, are you the defender or the attacker? They're defending. So Shagate actually still thinks they're in a position to attack, which means Tibet must be incredibly weak, which means we should take this province and then attack uh, Tibet ourselves. In fact, Tibet is getting, or is wrecking Shagate. Where is Shagate? Oh, Yarkin's getting wrecked as well. Uh, you're allied with Molten. I have no idea who... Oh, that's you. You know what? Maybe Yarkin is a better choice. No, no, no. I want to go to war with, with uh, Shagate. But let's do it. Uzbek, are you uh, ready to go to war yet? Not yet. You're still massively in debt. This alliance is not working at all. You're utterly useless in every possible way. Okay. Let us get the war going see here. Tribal feud. What does this do? Okay. Less aggressive expansion. Actually, a lot less aggressive expansion. Maybe we should be going for these as our particular, uh... Particulars. Yes. Uh, let's say Naram. As less aggressive expansion is good, and, I mean, with this, we still get all the prestige and stuff, but with this... All provinces, monetary reparations, vassalage, and protectorate. Okay, you know what? Tribal feud is much better. Off to war. I don't know where their army is. Did you Did you also have any secret allies I didn't know about? Apparently not. They, they have 10,000 men. Good for them. Naturally, they're all coming to kill me at the same time. Alright, get in there. I think we have the better leader, though. Probably slow down. Yeah, we have a better leader. Get, get in there, get in there. Ah, for sure. Love of all that is good and holy. Now we're gonna get wrecked by these guys because they have a leader and we don't. Ugh. 
Well, that sucks. Can we, uh... We just pull out? That was dumb. That was really dumb in every possible way. I am greatly disappointed by that. But we did damage their army pretty significantly, so... Even though we also wiped out our army, we should be able to come back from that. They're actually recovering real... Tibet! Here, you know what, Tibet? I want you to actually... Tibet, Tibet, please. Let me talk to you, sir. Have military access, go wreck their shit for me. Oh, wait. Oh, I have to offer them military access. I wish, I wish military access was just like a one-way thing. You do not want military ac- Come on, you have to fight Shagate. Ugh. Sometimes. Where are you going? Okay, you're gonna be distracted over there for a while. And I don't really need military access for you, so I'm just gonna cancel that now. Thanks for nothing. Oh, what the hell. Uh, no. I am busy with something, so sorry. I don't care about losing prestige. You had your chance. You can end your war over there and take all the provinces you want. Okay. I, I get the feeling this is going to be another one of those really expensive wars that doesn't really result in me feeling all that good about myself at the end of things. Um, let's see here. That's okay. Uh, admin power is probably better, though. And I guess we might as well improve our relations with Yaren. We're not going to war with them for a little while. We can't call them to arms because they're fighting in another war, of course. But Yaren's actually getting pretty strong over there, which does concern me a little bit, I will admit. Uh, repay our loan. Alright, but they're going to be busy over here, so we can siege them out. Which is good. I'm still kind of annoyed with how that one turned out. Uh, do you have a... Yeah, you have a siege leader over there. Uh, we're just going to wander on through. Alright. There we go. We're going to siege as much as we can. Excellent. Uh, I guess you kind of have to sit there, don't you? Uh, since that's adjacent to that fort. Alright, you can go over there. You can go over there. Or over there. Yeah, I guess that'll work. For the time being. Oh, by the time we moved out. Wait, that's a fort? Oh my god. How many forts did these guys, these guys build? Like, where did you get the money to build all these forts, is my question. Like, these are the questions. Alright. Send them in. Let's actually give our awesome siege leader to these guys. Okay. I cannot move in there. I could move there, but that's touching another fort. Alright, you go over there. Alright, apparently that's faster. Don't ask me how that's faster, but it is, apparently. Part of me says to just let this go and focus more on this. Because they are inevitably going to come for me, probably. And with my luck, they'll win. Eh, stupid to bet. Like, you're not going to get anything fighting over there. Like, come on. And because I'm a human, they're going to focus on my war rather than the Tibet war. Even though the Tibet war would be easier for them to... Like, if they just took care of Tibet, they would theoretically have an easier time than fighting me. You know, because I'm... I'm obviously the bigger threat in this particular thing. You know what? We'll detach a siege and send the rest of our guys... No, no, I don't like that. You go over here. There we go. These guys are gonna come for me. And I don't like that. I do not like that at all. 
In fact, I should have just sent everyone over here to focus on this fort. Because... Yeah. Okay, so they've taken that, and they are coming over here. I don't know what that means exactly. Like, are they going to just siege these provinces back one at a time, or are they going to directly march over here? I can't tell what they're doing exactly. No, they're coming for me. Of course they are. So they're going to arrive on the 23rd. Um, I'll be there on the 1st. Gosh darn it. No. Alright, so basically, this army is just dead. Great. Fantastic. Unless... No, we're not in the mountains or anything. Crap. How are they so much better than me? I don't get it. They have less discipline. Oh, they have higher morale. And better tactics. Why are their tactics better? They can't possibly have a military that much stronger than mine, can they? I mean, I guess they can, but I'm baffled by how that's a thing. Alright, let's build some Merc Cavalry, because we're going to need it. Oh my goodness. You know, should have just gone to war with Yarkand. Would have been easier. Oh my god. And they stack wiped me. Like, what the hell? Well, at least we got that. Let's uh, focus on just sieging what we can while these guys are... Is he doing stuff? My goodness. These are the kinds of things that just annoy the heck out of me. Okay, they're gonna be busy over there. And shamans, or... Oh, alright, fine. Send these guys in here. Hopefully, yeah, they're gonna focus on that. So that'll keep them busy for a while. That's really our only hope. We have to siege what we can, and then end this war. It's honestly not going that well. Which baffles the hell out of me. Like, how is... How is this happening? Okay, and how many people do I need to siege that? It's like six? So, uh... Bridge up. Get the siege leader in there. Make sure you guys are coming in. I actually split again. Oh, I can't go that way. Right, because they have my fort. Alright, just send everyone in, please. And with any luck, in the time it takes them to siege that, I will, meanwhile, be able to siege their capital. Are you actually... Yeah, you're moving in. So everyone is coming in here. Right? Yes, everyone's coming in. Good. Oh my god. What? What? That was at 0%. How the hell did that happen? This game sometimes. You know what? Fine. We're just going to sue for... Nope. Alright. I need the ducats. Sometimes this game... Like, that is bogus. Meanwhile, Tibet, what are you doing? Like, do you really not want to win your war? Like, do you want to just fight that war for a um, hundred million years? What do you mean strategic interest? You could go over there and fight the Shagate. Like, ugh, my goodness. Sometimes. Are you just sitting there? Nope, you're coming for me again. Oh my goodness. Alright. Yeah, they're just coming for me. I'm... What am I supposed to do here? I guess we just make a run for it. No, 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 that way, then that way. What, what are you doing? No, everyone go over here. We gotta get away from them, and then we gotta go up here and take their fort back. Uh, okay. I'd rather have the military power at this point. Mercantilism is probably stronger. But, uh... 
Okay, there's no way to actually get in there. What the? Oh. Are you flipping kidding me? We can't... I can't move out. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I can't move out of this province. Oh my god. Zone of control stuff. I can't move out of this province either, can I? Oh my god. This game sometimes. Why are we suddenly losing? Why are we losing this war so bad? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of... Fr oh, and our leader died. I bet that was the good siege leader, wasn't it? Yep. Now the siege is going to take even longer. And they're just going to come in and stack wipe. Fine, fine. Let's just end this now. This this is bullshit. Utter, utter bullshit. What do you want? No. F you. Oh my god. Okay, this is going to be one of those things where I just have to basically hurt them repeatedly, isn't it? I'm just going to have to keep this war going. I'm going to have to be like a real dick about it. Just keep the war going for a hundred million years. That is still bullshit. I can't move out of there. They're probably going to stack wipe us over here because, you know, the game's going to be like, oh, her, 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 her. Yeah. As you can tell, I am... Yeah, and they stack wiped me. What the hell? Like, they... I refuse to believe they are that much stronger than me. Like, this is just ridiculous. Utterly, utterly ridiculous. But I will keep this war going until, like, they explode in a million mercenaries. Or a million... Uh... Yeah, Separatists. Because I'm the player. I can do that, damn it. Like, I don't care if it costs me a hundred million ducats. I will keep this war going forever and ever and ever if I have to. Because it, it really means nothing, nothing to me do so. And, yeah. I, got, I will do it. I have no problems doing this. But, I guess I'm also, like, ugh, this is so useless. Like, the zone of control mechanics, every, oh my god, are you kidding me? They're coming back again? Like, will they just leave me alone? Because they're gonna just stack wipe me again, and it's Oh, no, they changed their mind. They don't want to... They don't want to fight me anymore. Oh, I gotta... I gotta pull back. Why am I going that way? Why am I not just going directly? The, the province is literally right next door, and... This game sometimes. Yeah, you see, he'll go right back. Like... Anyway, I, I'm getting mad. This episode is going on far too long. And I'm going to have to take a bit of a break here now, just because things are going so horrible. And basically I have to wait for someone to go to war with the Shagate. And, uh, yeah. I have to wait for someone to go to war with them. I I'm still baffled by why I have to go around like that. But anyway, I, I, I promise I will come back from this. It may take us a while, I may need to take out a hundred million loans, but I will turn this around. It's possible, I can do it, I will ruin Shagate for this, and I have to be honest, this is all because Tibet is being an idiot and stuff. I mean, maybe if I leave Shagate alone, they'll, they'll go fight Tibet for a while, but because I'm the player, they're gonna fight me first. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway, I'm rambling. This episode's going on way too long. I'm clearly raging, so I, I need to step back, calm down, plan my next move, and I will see you all in the next video.